Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. Over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-87585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today was game three. three of the Central Division Finals. Um, the Admirals have a, or the Admirals were, there are tied one. All right, so the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Grand Rapids, Griffins in Grand Rapids. Shots on goal in the first period, Milwaukee outshoots Grand Rapids 11 to 4. In the second period, Milwaukee outshoots Grand Rapids 10 to 7. In the third period, Grand Rapids outshoots Milwaukee 15 to 7. And in total, Milwaukee outshoots Grand Rapids 30 to 27. On the power play, Milwaukee goes 1 for 5 with 18 minutes, 5 infractions, while Grand Rapids goes 0 for 2 with 14 minutes, 7 infractions. Scoring in the first period, there was no scoring. So we moved to the second. Scoring in the second period um, at 2.50 into the second for the Admirals was Igor Afanasyev scoring his second of the postseason, assisted by Jasper Weatherby, his second, and Ryan Ofko, his fourth. Then at the 11-19 mark for Grand Rapids, William Wallander scores his first of the postseason, assisted by Austin Zarnick, his fourth, and Jonathan and Berggren, his fourth. Then scoring in the second at the 15-14 mark was Igor Afanasyev with his third, um, with a power play goal with an assist from Ozzy Weissblatt, his fifth, and Joachim Kevel, his fifth. Then in the third, Austin Zardek ties it back up with his fourth with an assist from William Wallinger, his second, and Albert Johansson, his third. We get to overtime. Overtime, there were two shots on goal for Milwaukee, one shot on goal for Grand Rapids. Who you think took it? Well, eh. Eh. throw the hats to the Igor Afanasyev with his hat trick. His fourth of the season with an assist from Joachim Kemmel, his sixth, and Ryan Ufko, his fifth. Ufko has shown at this point to be a killer in this league passing that puck. Yeah. The man, I think, has an assist in every, or a point in every game he's played. Uh, he has six points in nine games. Just under a point per game. He has a minus two, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but Igor, with the hat trick, something the Admirals desperately needed was him to get going. Kevel yeah. passing the puck, showing he could get the assist, taking away from his ability to sh you know, shoot the puck. He yeah. had 16, uh, This year, he had 16 goals. And 25 assists on, in 67 games for 41 points, 23 penalty minutes, and was a minus two. Last season, he played 14 games, had six goals, seven assists, 13 points in minus five. In the postseason last year, he had four, 10 points on, in 14 games. It looks like he's on that and on pace for that same clip where he had eight goals, two assists, 10 points. This year in the playoffs, he has no goals, six assists, minus one. So he's also shooting the puck considerably less. Yeah. Considerably less. Uh, shot a game, shot a game, shot a game. Two shots, three shots, one shot, two shots, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. One shot. In the playoffs, so he's shooting the puck considerably less. Um, I don't know if he wants to be like a playmaker and just have that shot in his hip pocket, but um, what was your thoughts before we get into the three stars of the game of of one the officiating at this point and two uh, what was your thought thought on the shot at the Admirals fans? Um, 
because everybody's going to want to know our opinion on that. So <laughs> I don't know. It was the the shot at the Admirals fans. It was I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I can look and laugh, but at the same time, it was kind of disgusting, if I might add. Um, but anyways, as far as the game goes, uh, good puck movement. Um, sometimes I think they were holding on to the puck a little too much. Um, but, I mean, other than that, they played hard, uh, looked a little tanked in the third, but came out better in overtime. I also honestly think that they're going to want to get this done next game. I think they want a little bit of rest. Yeah, getting it done next game and a little bit of rest would go a long way at this point. Yeah, because the two-day rest, then starting the series would be nice. In net for Grand Rapids was Sebastian Costa. He stopped 27 of 30. Well, in net for the Admirals was Yaroslav Askarov, stopping 25 of 27. Costa led in three. Yaro led in two. Your three stars of the game. Third star of the game was William Wallinder. He had a goal and an assist. Second star of the game was Yaroslav Askarov with 25 saves. And first star, like I said, with the hat trick, E go. All right. So before we get in, in, in to wrapping it up, I would like to correct something that is kind of my fault, and I say kind of. Um, congratulations to the new game holder for most goals in a consecutive game. His streak was ended tonight. Zach LaRue. It was actually Jordan Tutu with four. Okay. Jordan Tutu with four game go goals and uh, uh, you know in you know he had a goal in four straight games. Um, Zach Larue does remind me a lot of Jordan Tutu, except for he has more stamina. Um, you know, uh, I I loved Jordan Tutu while he was here. Um, so. Adding into that, um, what's your thought on Yarov since he came in? Um, I I said what your thought on I, mean, I, I like him this series. He the first round that we played in, he he just didn't seem to be clicking, and it seems he's with maybe the added rest is really what's gone a long way uh, to helping him in this round, but um, yeah, he's been good. And that's the one thing about this is if a guy needs a night off, you could start Troy. Right. Yeah, you know, you could start Troy on Friday and say, do you want to go? Do you, do you want, you know, you want to close this out? You started it, you know. Right. Troy, you started this. Do you want your one more shot? Because basically, they have to win this game. Right. We don't. I know that's not a, uh, a way to look at it, but do you want, you know, do you want to keep that in your hip pocket? Do you want to, because, I, I mean, that's that's kind of where we sit right now, right? Right. Um, I think they got the momentum now. That that normally when a team loses like this, they're gonna come back in that first period of the next game and try to smack us in the mouth. Yeah. Um, we can't let that happen. We gotta be tight defensively, kind of sit there, grit it and bear it and move on like we did today. Take our chances, make our shots, make our shots count. Yeah. You know, there were more times that I thought that there could have been more goals. Uh I thought that they the officiating was a little lackluster at times when it came to LaRue. It looked like they were targeting a little. I'm 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 not saying that that's the case, but it just it seems that way very I mean, much so right now. Yeah, I mean it did look like that, but uh, I mean I do got to give LaRue credit. He could have taken a lot more penalty minutes than he did with how they were being so aggressive to him. 
you know, he kept his cool. He didn't get into any additional trouble. He got a 10 minute misconduct for what? I still don't know. For hitting the puck into the empty net after the whistle had blown. I always thought that was a two minute unsportsmanlike, but. I mean, like I said, they took him off the ice for 10 minutes and basically iced him for the game. Um, my opinion is though, when look when when you look at this, Igor stepping up, Kebbles Kebble getting on the assist sheet, uh Ufko with two points today, um, uh, Weatherby getting on the stat sheet. Um the guys played seemingly well. Um uh, LaRue had two shots on that. Igor had five. Graval had four. Bufko, Park, and Parson had both had three. Cal, Gross, Kebel, Foodie, Willsby, and LaRue all had two. Weisblatt had zero. Pabasito had zero. Shaver had zero. Svechkov had zero. Weatherby had zero. Um... I, I would like to see uh, Tomasito shoot more. I'd like to see Sinajkov shoot more. Um, Weissblatt, I would like to see what he does. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I do think that the league should definitely look at possibly different officials for next game, especially with it being a potential elimination game. The officials just didn't seem like they were all on the same page tonight. No, I mean, and that's the thing. Justin Key is very, very capable, but it just didn't seem like the uh, the, the officiating mix with the linesman just didn't have its own, if you will. Right. Um, and mistakes happen. Refs are humans, too. But <laughs> uh, definitely was kind of disappointing to see that type of... Uh, Lack of communication. I mean, they had good communication when they had to get together and decide on things and things like that, but it it just seemed off. Yeah, and, and I mean, Yarrow's been kind of taking a little bit of physical punishment from them, too. I think they think if they, they saw if they could get to him physically um, the way Texas did with uh, uh, McKenzie, where he got the two-minute Interference penalty. Two minutes well worth it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, I just seem to think that, you know, um, Yarrow is a really good character in sports. Um, he's very animated. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's very athletic. He's very humble. And, and, and all he wants to do is win. And if that's all it is that uh, my goalie wants, then I'm going to do everything I can as a guy in front of him to give him that. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, I uh, I don't know how exactly we could go from there, but uh, um, so like I was saying, um, uh, so adding on, Today, uh, Hershey defeated um, Hartford 4-1, moving on in their series, and Cleveland defeated Syracuse 6-4, moving on in their series. So now, it'll be Hershey versus Cleveland, and the winner of Oz versus Grand Rapids versus Coachella. We wait now. They start on Thursday, May 30th. Hershey versus Cleveland. Six o'clock Central Time for those of you that want to watch. The Admirals start at six o'clock on Friday. Friday, you said. Friday. Well, looking at it from the perspective of Friday, all right? So let's just look at this series. All right. Who's the who's who's hot and who's not? Your top scorers for the Admirals are Zach LaRue with seven goals, five assists, 12 points. Second top is 
Yusuf Hartsonen, one goal, seven assists, eight points. Igor Afanasyev with six points, Ozzy Weissblatt with six points, and Joachim Kemmel with six points. By the way, the top scorer for Grand Rapids is Austin Zarnik with eight. The rest of them are seven, six, five, and five. Currently, the top scorer in the postseason is Zach LaRue at 12 points. And it's not even close. Hendricks LaPierre is the closest active player at eight points. Uh, Zardik's there too with eight points, but those are the closest active players as Bellevue was eliminated already. Uh, Coachella has nobody in the top 20. There's a huge tie there at six. So Coachella has one, two, three. We have Igor there, Stretchcock's there, Weissblatt's there, Cabell's there. So yeah. Um, if you had to give a score prediction for Friday's game. Uh, I'm not going to give a score prediction, but what I will say is based on how this series has gone, based on how both teams have been playing, I see it either going to overtime or it being a one goal win for whoever wins. Yeah, it's going to be, I would agree there. It's going to be very close. I can't pick a winner on either side, but I do think it's either going to be and, and and here's the thing. I'm going to say this. If Milwaukee jumps out quick, it's going to be a fucking track meet. And I know I swore, but you know how I am. Take it or leave it. Don't like it. Um, But just on that notice, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, And by the way, if I swear, it's just because I don't know what else to say. <laughs> um, I use it as an explicitive. I put an exclamation on it. That's how way I, way I use it. So, um, if if it goes five, I think it leans more closer to Milwaukee. Yeah, to us, because just because of the home ice. Right. Good luck beating us at home. Yeah, uh, I forget our home play, record. Right, Rabbit plays very good at home. Yeah. But today, for whatever reason, it looked like they were scrambling a little bit. Yeah. Um, I mean, I forget our season home record, but it's pretty impressive. I will say that. Give me a quick second. I think we, I don't quote me, but I think we only maybe lost nine, maybe ten games on home ice this year or less. There you go. Here we go. Home record. We were 27 9 0 and 0. Yeah, 27 9 0 and 0. And they were 20, 23 7 4 and 2. The only team that was just as good at home was Hershey at 27. Or 29, 7, 0, oh, and 0. Oh. So, how does that work? Oh, they won two more games. Eh. Um, as far as the away record, the Admirals were 20, 13, 2, and 1. The, the next best team in our division was 20, 13, 2, and 1, and that was Mockford. On the road, Grand Rapids was actually 14, 16, 4, and 2. Um, Coachella was 26, 5, and 3 on the road. 
Hershey was 24, 7, 0, oh, and 5 on the run. So five shootout losses. I mean, I'm going to add this has been a really chippy series uh, so far. So I think whether this goes another two games or another game that Milwaukee's really got to work hard to keep its cool. I think if they stay out of the box, they'll have a lot better chance to wrap this up on Friday. Um, Milwaukee on the road, they are... Um, they played so this was their fourth one and they were wait this is their fourth and their third road game because Texas went full right yep so that was two and we oh yeah the second one will be next okay so that is three uh, they yeah, are. This one's three. The this is their Friday will be four. On the road this postseason, um, at home. Um. Really, you're gonna be this much of a pig in the deck. At home, Grand Rapids is one and two. In the postseason? Not done well at home in the postseason. Hershey, Cleveland, and Coachella have not lost at home. Period. He is. Oh. Now, before we get into this, if it does move on, just so you all know, Coachella has home ice. Yeah. So it'll start out there. Just adding that in there as well. All right. So that is all I have for you. Um, I actually have one more kind of standout thing. Um, so I don't know if this is current for after this game or coming into this game. But one thing to point out is that for Grand Rapids, their power plays at home this postseason, they have not scored a single power play goal at home. And they were only two for 11 on the road. One minute, 19 seconds left. The Lord of Panthers, three nothing versus the Rangers. Well, that's not as we predicted. No. <laughs> Well, I think we expect it to go seven games, though. So let's see if it hits seven games. <laughs> yep. Well, all righty. Thank you all for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodwill. Over there's John Lewandowski. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, Hockey Locker. 4002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin.